What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going over some in-depth leaks for Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, which is an upcoming animated show which is due to come out fall 2022. Now these were actually leaked on Twitter, I think originally, by a Twitter user called Asokas and Nerodo, or, or something along them lines. You'll find them on my Twitter anyway, I've uh, liked a few of their posts. Now, initially I was questioning, you know, is this going to be something I do a video on? You know, what's the authenticity of these leaks actually looking like and i was questioning it myself until i woke up this morning and i found that a leaked scene from tales of the jedi which showed a certain big character death uh was actually dmca'd which is a copyright so that's actually been taken down now i have got some screenshots to show you guys um, but that for me just makes it more credible and i'm comfortable now reporting on everything else they've had to say alongside it before we jump in remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new so we can continue this star wars journey together make sure to hit that like button so we can uh, you know it really helps out the channel it's massively appreciated so thank you now these leaks come from tales of a jedi which is a series of short stories it's going to be six episodes long three of the episodes are going to be based around count dooku or dooku as he's known that back then an origin story for dooku when he was in the jedi order and three episodes are going to be for ahsoka it's uh, done by dave filoni so it's understandable why ahsoka's in there now i'm going to be covering it as i'm going to do dooku first his three episodes and i'm going to be doing ahsoka's three episodes Obviously, when it comes out, we could get one Ahsoka Dooku, Ahsoka Dooku like that. Who knows? So bear with me. Some of these leaks might not be in the right order, but I've basically taken what's there and I've arranged it uh, in my mind to what makes sense the most. But this is essentially what they say. So for Count Dooku, it seems like a large part of his story does take place prior to the Phantom Menace. During the Phantom Menace, that was really his turning point to leave in the Jedi Order and fall into the dark side. Now, it's said to be more of an origin story for Count Dooku. And there is actually said to be an episode in there which features Qui-Gon Jinn, which is going to be voiced by Liam Neeson. The leak has actually gone on to say that they call it the Qui-Gon Jinn episode. Now, the Jedi agree, basically, in this episode to rescue a senator's child. Now, where have we seen that before? We've seen it a few times in Star Wars at this point. Even in Kenobi, we saw that. So the Jedi only agreed to this rescue mission because this senator is apparently a bit corrupt and they want to learn more about him. They want to know his deal, what he's about. So by doing this rescue mission, they hope to get a better understanding of that senator. And after the child is rescued, the senator himself comes out and actually begins to fight Dooku. He sort of picks a fight with him. Now, I'm not sure if this senator is force sensitive. To me, it does seem a bit bizarre that someone who isn't force sensitive would pick a fight with a Jedi. It's, it's sort of a losing battle before you've even started, really. Uh, but it's probably something to do with Palpatine, I'd imagine. And that could give us an idea, really, on how much the dark side actually penetrated you know, the Senate and all the politicians around them, and even the Jedi Order at some point as well. So the leaks say that Dooku is actually force choking the senator and Qui-Gon tries to get him to stop but ends up being force pushed away by Dooku. Eventually the senator's child comes out and Dooku stops. Now it's interesting seeing Dooku go into this absolute fit of rage and ignoring and just dismissing what Qui-Gon has to say about it. It's a massive red flag for what would eventually be his fall to the dark side in my opinion. So that's actually the last that the leaks say about Qui-Gon. However, I, I bet there is some more in there, being that they called it like the Qui-Gon episode and Liam Neeson's coming back to voice the character. And even Liam Neeson's son's actually voicing the character as well, probably an, a younger Qui-Gon, I would imagine. But it does say that we will be getting a Qui-Gon Jinn funeral seen in this, which is attended by Anakin and Obi-Wan, and Coyote Mundi gives a speech as well. So it's actually said there will be an episode following Dooku and Mace Windu as two Jedi Knights as they are sent to the location that a Jedi Master called Katari died. Now, they are greeted by the townspeople. So the leaks say that Dooku and Mace do their investigating around the circumstances of the death of the Jedi Master and even look at the slain Jedi Master's body to examine it. They come to the conclusion that it was the townspeople that actually managed to kill Katari, which is the uh, Jedi Master. And Dooku absolutely freaks out at this point, and he wants to know more about what's gone on. Whereas Mace Windu 
basically suggests that they should follow the council's orders to retrieve the body and return to Coruscant. But this is said to be an important moment in Dooku's story, one that does really start to tip the scales for the dark side. Because of Dooku's willingness to defy the Jedi Council's orders and go against what they've said, that actually leads to Mace Windu getting promoted to the rank of Jedi Master and not Dooku, which definitely leaves a sour taste in his mouth. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. This is where the wheels really start to fall off on Dooku's Jedi journey and things really start to take a turn for the worst here. Now the following episode, Dooku meets Palpatine on Geonosis. Now you might think, well that was a bit quick, but you've got to remember Palpatine at this point in time isn't Emperor Palpatine, he is still the politician, uh, you know, that we saw in the early stages of the Phantom Menace. He meets Palpatine on Geonosis, but he's also followed by Yadel. Now if you remember her, she is another of Yoda's species. We've only actually seen three members of Yoda's species in Star Wars, of course, Yo Yoda, Grogu and Yaddle. Yo Yaddle was was, um, in The Phantom Menace but after that she was absent and this really does explain why. So she follows uh, Dooku to Geonosis to keep an eye on him. She's suspicious of what he's up to. He meets with Palpatine and some things happen, some things unravel there. It results in Palpatine and these leaks say Palpatine forces Dooku to kill him. Kill him now. Do it. Kill Yaddle, and that is actually what the leaked footage was that we saw, which was Count Dooku, which was Dooku literally killing Yaddle. So this leak scene is very sad for a number of reasons. I mean, really, it's because Yoda's species, they're few and far between within Star Wars. There's only ever been three of them. And I think you know, that is the way it will pretty much stay largely. If George wanted the Yoda species to be kept mysterious. That's why we've hardly ever seen them. We don't even know what they're called yet. Uh, I don't know if that would change or not with the new stuff that's coming out, but uh, historically they've always been a mysterious you know, race of beings and maybe all of them are insanely force sensitive. The ones we know about, they're all force sensitive. Uh, but it was a really sad scene because uh, Yaddle just looked like, I don't know what she looked like, how to explain it. She looked sad, she looked scared and Dooku went in for the kill. Uh, it was it was really, it was murder, if you want to call it that. It was it was not nice. Uh, it was only a brief scene. It was very poor quality as well. There's like all things all over the top of it to sort of hide uh, maybe who leaked it and stuff like that. Uh, but you could see that from the scene. It was it was quite uh, quite upsetting really to watch if you're a Star Wars fan and you like that species, uh, you know, the Yoda species. Uh, but it still doesn't, you know, debunk the theory out there that he had all could be Grogu's mum, as uh, by the time she was killed by Dooku, Grogu was already alive anyway, he was already born. So uh, that could still live on, but yeah, we'll see. So now we move over to the Ahsoka episodes, and these are very jumpy. They, they sort of go back and forth, it seems, uh, in time jumps. So you have to bear with on this one and, and sort of take it, slow it down a little bit and take it in a little bit more. Now in the first episode, it goes on to say that Ahsoka is born a Jedi. Yeah, about that. Um, but she's taken out hunting with her mother, where she's actually taken by what is said to be a huge bear. But for some reason, Ahsoka manages to influence the bear with the force, and she ends up riding it back to the village, sitting on the bear's back. Now, I'm not clear how old Ahsoka is in this. I would imagine that she's still not baby Ahsoka. Maybe she's a bit older, maybe five, six, seven, who knows? I could be wrong. But that's the sort of vibe I get when you're going to use the force to influence a bear and ride back to the village with that bear on the bear's back. But anyway, it's said to be a very funny scene nonetheless. And this part ends with the village elder saying, Jedi, Ahsoka is Jedi, which is something that we actually see in a trailer or thereabouts. Obviously that trailer is not officially released yet, but it was leaked online from Star Wars Celebration. It's one of many trailers that have been released in Celebration that have not come out to the public officially yet, unfortunately. So now we're on to the second Ahsoka episode, which is said to take place between season one and three of the Clone Wars. And it's actually got Anakin Skywalker in it, our guy Anakin Skywalker, voiced again by Matt Lanter. Now Anakin is training Ahsoka at this stage. And it said that he's going very hard on her and at the end of the training, it is a long training uh, sequence, that she does get her second lightsaber. So then we sort of get a flash forward and this is what I mean by it can be very jumpy. We get a flash forward to an extended Order 66 scene which is set at the end of Season 7 of The Clone Wars. 
episode 12. And apparently this scene actually lasts for a good five minutes. When, when you think about it, it is a considerable amount of time considering these are only meant to be short stories. It's said that Kanan appears to be a youngling in this Ahsoka training episode, which primarily is what this episode is based on. Ahsoka shows off her skills to the council and then says this was so easy or something along them lines, typical for Ahsoka really. Uh, and it does actually mention that she does attend Padme's funeral, which we have footage for as well. So going on to now what I believe will be the third episode and we open with a scene with Bal Organa speaking to Ahsoka on Naboo right after season 7 of the Clone Wars is finished. And after that the rest of the episode is set on Rada when we don't see Ahsoka get her white sabers but we do see her kill an Inquisitor that's hunting her and from what I can work out it seems like that could be the sixth brother. So the leaker goes on to say at this point that the Ahsoka novel seems to be retconned. Caden seems to be sort of like a sideline character in this story. They're not 100% sure that it is Caden, but uh, from the description of the character, it is sort of made to seem that way. So it probably is. So just for context here, Rada is a farming moon in the Outer Rim territories and Ahsoka actually spent a year on this moon post Order 66 undercover trying to hide who she really was under the name of Ashlo and that's when she actually met Caden um, and she spent about a year on this moon working as a mechanic. But long story short someone essentially snitches on Ahsoka being there and who she really is somehow they find that out and the sixth brother I presume goes to Rada sets the whole place alight and leaves only Ahsoka and Caden there and that is when they have a fight and that is when I believe going by these leaks that Ahsoka will kill the sixth brother. Somewhere along the line Ahsoka stops a truck from falling on Caden's head and that is when Caden finds out about Ahsoka's powers. Now Caden initially wasn't very impressed about this about you know deception from Ahsoka of hiding who she really is after them two becoming friends over the last year of being on Rada together. Long story short, after Ahsoka saves Caden, Caden agrees to keep Ahsoka's powers a secret as a favour. Even though Ahsoka's literally just saved them, you'd think that it would be more than a favour let do that for her, but who knows? As I say, initially she was really angry at Ahsoka hiding who she truly was. Okay, so that's all the leaks have to say regarding that. Now I've tried to put them in the best order I can. I've sort of tried to include as much information into it as possible. Of course, it's only really like an outline. We're going to get a lot more context in the show. That's if these leaks are real. I believe they are due to the fact that they've got credible footage. The footage they released, it looked legit. It was very bad quality, but there must have been substance behind it for it actually to be removed. It wasn't removed by the person that uploaded it. It was DMCA, which I say is a copyright. So there is some truth behind that. That sort of authenticates the rest of the leaks for me as they were all being released together. Um, yeah, so that's all from me today. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel so we can continue the Star Wars journey together. Remember to leave a like on the video. It really helps the channel out, helps us grow, helps the community grow. And, uh, you know, it's much appreciated. So thank you. But uh, until next time, may the force be with you.